Hello, this is a video on how to install LM Studio on your computer. Now this is going to be for the PC, but you could also download this for Mac OS or for Linux, which is really cool. It's a desktop application that lets you run large language, mo large language models on your machine. You know, it's kind of similar to ChatGPT, but obviously you're not going to be able to run something as big and powerful as a warehouse of GPUs like Grok or anything like that, but you can run a distilled, if you will, you know, thinner version on your machine, I guess you could, you could say. And it's pretty cool. So let's try it out. We're going to begin by going to lmstudio.ai. And once we get there, you're going to download the version for your computer. In this case, I'm using Windows. Sorry, but I'm using Windows. <laughs> once the file finishes downloading, you're going to open it. It'll be called something similar to this. Uh, depending on when you watch the video, the version number may obviously be different, but you can run this file now. And during the install, you can pick if you're going to install it for yourself or anyone that uses the computer. I just, since it's my computer, I just pick anyone who uses this computer in case I want to have multiple users on my machine. Now only would just kind of install similar to like, not like Chrome browser, but something that I, maybe that just installs to your local profile folder on your computer. I just go with install for anyone who uses this computer. And I just pick the default destination folder and click install. And then when the installer finishes, I generally have a habit of unchecking run from the installer. I just run it myself from my, you know, programs menu because maybe you're running the installer as admin and it's install it to an admin uh, user space. It's just a practice that I'm used to. You can click run if you will, if you'd like, if you're the only user on your computer, but I generally uncheck this and click finish. Then I just find LM Studio on my computer and I run it. And I probably type the installer name. There it is, it's right there. Now once the application launches, it may look different on your, um, on your system depending on what version you're running or I've installed this in the past and then uninstalled it and I installed it again. So I don't know if there's any settings that may have stayed, but anyways, I don't have anything loaded. So when I click this top button right here that says select a model to load, you're going to need a model. That's like where your LLM is, your large language model, where all of your information is searched across, you know, and um, so you're going to have to click this the first time. And then right now it gives me the option to download Llama 3.18B 4.92 gigabytes. Now that seems like something I could run on this machine, uh, given the 8B, 8 billion parameters, I think it means. And that's something that like a household desktop like mine that has a GPU that has an NVIDIA graphics card in it can run fairly quickly. Now, if you're, you don't have a dedicated GPU like a, an NVIDIA chip or something like that, it's going to use your CPU and it could take a lot longer. Um, it generally will. But you can still mess with this. It's not going to hurt. It's free. It's going to, you know, try it out. So let's click to download this default one right here, Llama 3.18B. And it's now downloading. Now the download has finished and at the bottom right, it gives me the option to load the model. And I'm going to need to do that so that I could have some data to work with. So let's click on load model. And you can see up at the top is showing the progress bar of it loading the model. And you can also see over here on the left side where it shows what I've downloaded. So now I can go ahead and close this little download progress area and I can start to search for something. Do note that each active chat session that you might have open is indicated right here. You see how you got chats at the top? And right now this is called unnamed chat. Now based on what I'm going to search, it might give a, an intelligent name for the chat, at least what it thinks I'm talking about, or you can name it yourself. So let's just search for something. Do what is the capital of Michigan? It was really quick. It just came back with the answer right away. Uh, let's try to do something that makes it think a little harder. Let's try. Tell me why states, oops, states in the USA have capitals. Just something random like that. All 50 states in the United States have a designated capital city except for no state. 
all 50 U.S. states have capitals. Okay. <laughs> so that's, okay, let's see. Why do the states have capitals? There we go. And here's some information. You could just pause it and read that if you would like, but I'm just showing you what it does on, on my computer. Let's try something completely random. Give me the recipe for chocolate chip cookies and how to make them or make the cookies in the shape of the state of Michigan. I should capitalize that. I don't know if it matters, but probably not. This is so fast. This is crazy. So if you want to pause the video, you can. <laughs> um, and it does say, let's just see if it does the, it does talk about the cookie shape. Wow, this is crazy. Pretty, pretty cool. So the same ingredients as ab above, a template or guide to draw the outline of Michigan. You can find a piping bag with a round tip and then chill the dough in a refrigerator. This is interesting. Draw the outline. This is pretty cool. I mean, this is all happening locally. I could turn off my internet connection and this would still happen, which is really neat. So if like my internet was out for some reason, um, it hasn't gone out in five years that I've been here. I'm on fiber. I'm, I'm very blessed and lucky, but that I have that in this area. But if my internet did go out and I had, I needed to, to calculate some information locally on my computer, I could do it. This is really cool. All in four gigabytes of data. It's like, you know, condensed down data that's just been pulled for, for this large language model. I understand it at a very, very, very basic level. I don't understand the ins and outs of AI. It's just amazing. Now, what if it's not so straightforward when you download this for the first time and you want to know different types of LLMs that you can run on your computer? That's the cool thing about LM Studio. For people like myself that have a very basic understanding of AI, this does the work for you in telling you if it can run on your system or if it's likely to run, you know, decently on your system. And if you look over here at the left side, you got this little discover search magnifying glass. You click on that and it will show you different LLMs that are available in a repository. I believe it's Hugging Face is the repository it's pulling from. It's called Hugging Face. You could go to their website and read more about these models and stuff, but it pretty much pulls it up here. And you can see like this little green arrow or green uh, icon will tell you if it's going to run okay on your system more or less based on your GPU and or just based on your hardware. And you can see like if I was to go to something like this, 32B, let's see. Yeah, I don't got a green icon. My, it, it would smoke my computer. I don't have a warehouse or um, of GPUs or a massive server with, you know, 250 plus gigs of RAM and all, all that stuff. You know, it's not like 200,000 GPUs like um, XAI has or Grok, you know, but these things are available. If you have a monster machine and you want to try running it, when you go to search something, it's searching across 32 billion parameters versus the eight that I have in this default model. But you could go and find DeepSeek on here. That's one of the popular ones. There's a seven billion, seven billion parameter model, and you can mess around with it. It's free. There's no sign up or cost to do this before you start learning if it's going to work on your system. You can learn if it's going to work and not have spent any money, which is really nice. So also pay attention to the size. Like you can see this one, this 32 billion parameters um, model is 20 gigabytes in size, which is pretty hefty if you're downloading a bunch of models. But when you go and download other models, and just like I did, you know, this first one, it's going to be up here at the top and you get to select between them. You can eject the model. Just think of it as ejecting like a CD-ROM from a computer and then loading the next model to try it out. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or you want to tell me anything about this video, you can correct me. I do so in the comments. I enjoy reading them. Thank you very much and have a great day.